So let's think a bit about the advantages of digital signal processing. So advantages of DSP. So remember, we have we have the AD converter here. Yeah. So that's the AD converter. Then we've got some kind of processor here, and then we have the TA converter at the output here. So remember, these were just numbers transmitted here, and there are also numbers here. And then this is here, analog output. And this is here again, analog output. So we've got analog here, analog here, and we've got numbers here and numbers here. So what's the advantage of that? One really important advantage is that the number crunching happening here is always the same. So it will never change. Obviously, if there's a bug somewhere in the processing, it does. But otherwise, it's stable. Yeah. So, so this means we have no component tolerances. So imagine, for example, an analog filter. We have something like this as a as a as a low pass filter. Then then we know that if we are putting a resistor here, 10k and let's say 0.1 microfarad, it's a 10k resistor. Usually has a has a tolerance of one percent, and the and the capacitor has usually quite high tolerances, 5% or 10% or so. So therefore we never know exactly what the, what the cutoff frequency is precisely because we've got these two, two tolerances here. Whereas in, in digital signal processing, we have no tolerance. So the, so the cutoff frequency will be always the same. So that's obviously a real advantage. The other thing is it is much cheaper to do DSP because we don't have any expensive components here. So we've got just one processor and this is doing all the work. So we don't need highly tuned or um, selected analog components for this here. And um, something also really important is it is flexible. Yeah, so we could just reprogram this processor here, for example, from a low pass filter to a high pass filter just by changing the code and there's no rewiring required. So therefore, in this way, we can change very, very quickly the um, processing of this of this processor here and fix bugs or improve the, the processing um, and sending, for example, a customer a new firmware upgrade without, without uh, modifying anything of the circuitry. I'm pretty sure you can come up with more advantages of, of DSP and also maybe some disadvantages, then just post them underneath this video or on the forum.